This is a park hidden inside the Bow Steel's manufacturing plant in Shanghai, but it didn't always look like this. Between 2002 and 2012, it used to be a 170,000 square meter landfill full of solid waste, like slag and concrete blocks. Bow Steel's factory sits near the Yangtze River, so there is a risk that the huge amounts of solid waste may contaminate the underground water, affecting the Yangtze River as well. Thus, Bow Steel decided to do something about it. Our techniques to handle solid waste fell behind at that time, so a total of 1.5 million tons of steel slag, construction waste, and mud generated from sewage treatment were all put here and created lots of problems for us. So we decided to fix the situation between 2019 and 2020. So, from 19 to 20, we decided to make a decision. China's rapid economic development and large investments in infrastructure have fueled steel production and manufacturing, but has also led to a serious pollution problem. After years of development, the recycling of solid waste at Bow Steel now meets the international standards. Removing solid waste is, of course, not the last step for Bow Steel. So far, 99.8 percent of the solid waste at Bow Steel is recycled. Most of it even reproduced as new products. The floor brick put on the Greenland, for example, is made of slag. This brick is made of steel slag and grain slag. We call it steel slag permeable brick because it has very good water permeability. The floor surface is also made of steel slag. The landfill project has cost about 860 million yuan, or over 128 million U.S. dollars. But that's not the company's only environmental plan. The target of our factory in Baoshan is to have a full water recycling system in place by 2025, which will make our factory a zero waste plant. Our goal is to become a zero waste company rather than a low emission or recycling company. In the end of June, Bao Steel also released its first climate action plan on its double carbon strategy and roadmap. The company aims to reduce carbon emissions by 30% by 2035 and reach carbon neutrality by 2050.